let me show you how to write a creative brief using a great case study that helps Seamless to become the number one food delivery app of choice in New York City. Hi, I'm Julian Cole, a strategy consultant to leading brands and a teacher of strategy on the Planning Dirty Academy. A creative brief is a one page distillation and translation of the business problem into a human problem. No matter what the brief template, they all have these sacred six inputs. The goal, the target audience, the problem, the insight, the single-minded proposition, and the action. Let me define these six inputs and show you what it might have looked like for the seamless campaign, How New Yorkers Eat. The goal. This is written from the business perspective. What have they narrowed down their problem that advertising can fix? In the case of home delivery app Seamless, they identified that New York was a huge market for them. Not only is it a high concentration of people, but they have very heavy users of food delivery apps. If you can become the number one app of choice in New York City, it gives you a big advantage for taking on the rest of America. So the goal may have been to become the food delivery app of choice for 20% of New Yorkers who use delivery apps. The target audience. The target audience looks at who can help you achieve this goal. Strategy is all about using limited resources. If you can't talk to everyone, which group will help you reach your goal? With a New York specific campaign, the audience was already narrow. However, within this group, you had two clear segments of local New Yorkers with 10 plus years in the city and younger New York transplants people who had just moved to the city for work. Transplants were more likely to be out more and cooking less. The problem. The problem is always written from the target audience perspective, not the business. So we need to get into the eyes of the consumer and understand why we aren't achieving our goal in their eyes. For New York transplants, the reason Seamless was not on their home screen is because they were bombarded with food delivery apps in 2018. Everyone was offering a sign up discount and they really didn't see the difference between them. New York transplants thought all delivery apps were the same and had no sense of which one was the right one to choose. The insight. The insight is possibly the most important piece of the brief. It is your new way around the problem. It should be a truth that once stated gets the audience to look at the problem in a new way. For New York transplants, what they discovered was New Yorkers don't cook. They didn't come here to cook a roast. For transplants, their relationship with regular food delivery was changing really quick. In the suburbs, regular home delivery is a sign of failure. You're a slob, you're on the couch. In New York, it's a sign of success. Regular delivery indicated that you had a social schedule and you really just didn't have time to cook. The insight was even more powerful because Transplant's worst fear was looking like a tourist in the city. They wanted to feel like a New Yorker and what Seamless realised was that food delivery was key to this lifestyle. The single minded proposition. The single-minded proposition is the crossover between the insight and the point of difference the brand has over the competition. Seamless's advantage was having the most restaurants on their app, making them the best for New York. They understood that variety was a reason why you moved to New York, and that variety included restaurants. While other delivery apps were talking about discounts and select restaurants, Seamless could talk about the bigger role that food delivery was playing in making transplants feel a part of the city. Action. This is what you want the consumer to think, feel or do. So in this instance of Seamless, it would be to get transplants to think of Seamless as an essential in their New York survival. If you are looking for more information on writing creative briefs or looking for a free creative brief template, you can download this and more at the Planning Dirty Academy.